Former President George W. Bush has been fairly quiet on presidential politics since his tenure in the White House ended, but that all changed when he appeared on the Today Show with some harsh remarks on current President Donald Trump's job performance thus far. Bush had a particularly firm clap back at Trump over a rude insult he seems to be constantly hurling at the media. Our current president, as anyone who is paying attention knows, is extremely skillful at pointing out flaws, exaggerating nearly any situation, and maybe his most poignant talent fabricating nonsense altogether. One of his favorite insults is calling the media the enemy of the people. Given the importance of free press to this country, having a commander-in-chief who constantly berates them and often hinders them from doing their job is quite disturbing. GWB thinks so too. Here's what he had to say. I consider the media to be indispensable to democracy. We need an independent media to hold people like me to account. Power can be very addictive and it can be corrosive, and it's important for the media to call to account people who abuse power, whether it be here or elsewhere. Former President George W. Bush on Trump's insults on the media. Robert Reich, who served as Secretary of Labor under President Bill Clinton and who is now a fierce anti-Trump presence, took to Facebook to voice his thoughts on Bush's comments. Since the time of these exchanges, it would be nice to able to say that President Trump had cooled it with the constant harassment of the media, but unfortunately that is not the case. In most cases, he's gotten even worse. From verbally attacking reporters at the White House and stripping them of their press passes to singling out the New York Times, one of the nation's most reputable news outlets and other broadcasting firms, and calling them crazed lunatics. A common sentiment among many Democrats is that they never thought they would be in a position of actually missing a Bush presidency, yet here we are. With incoherent ramblings and rude remarks as our current president's particular brand of leading the country, almost anything would be better than this.